Welcome everyone to a special episode of the Nonprofit Show. We are broadcasting live from the Cultivate Conference in beautiful San Diego, California. We have some special guests today um, that are going to be joining us. This is a really exciting opportunity um, that Fundraising Academy at National University has been working on. And so I can't wait to dig in and to really kind of find out what's going on at Cultivate and what we can kind of expect moving forward. Before we get going, I want to remind everyone that I'm Julia Patrick, CEO of the American Nonprofit Academy, joined today by the nonprofit nerd herself, Jarrett Ransom, CEO of The Raven Group. Um, without, and oh, that's right, we gotta get on our- Our uh, nerd glasses are here. Our they nerd are glasses. Here. So now it is official. Now it is official. Hey, we are here because of the largesse from our presenting sponsors, and they include Bloomerang, American Nonprofit Academy, your part-time controller, nonprofit thought leader, Fundraising Academy at National University, where we are with uh, who we're with today, Staffing Boutique, Nonprofit Nerd, and Nonprofit Tech Talk. These are the folks that allow us to come in now 800 episodes plus in our fourth year. So <clears throat> we met the yeah. wonderful Tony Bell uh, when we were very young. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Four it's years. Ago. It was early on. <laughs> it was very early on. You kept inviting me back. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, we loved what you had to say. So we're like, we gotta get this dude back on. But anyway, if you want to find out what we were talking about four years ago, you can find us in our archives. They're very robust. And you can join us live, as hopefully you are today. We can find us through our streaming broadcasts, our podcasts, and now our sexy new app that um, the team led by Kevin Pace, our executive director, has created. Tony Bell, one of our favorites here with us, also known to some of us as Mr. Nonprofit. Um, he has been out and about. Talk to us about what Cultivate is and how you all came up with this idea even. Yeah, so uh, so Pearl Hoagland, who has been on the show and is the director of the Fundraising Academy, uh, two years ago, we had done an event for all three of our programs, for Harmony, Inspire, and the Fundraising Academy. And we called that Power of Engagement. Uh, and it was a really awesome uh, virtual conference uh, that we put on. It was, it was very heavily um, focused on school districts. Uh, because our, our Harmony program is social emotional learning curriculum mm -hmm. uh, for pre-K through six. So uh, we know that there's benefits, you know, in terms of our curriculum at the Fundraising Academy for school districts, uh, but not so easily recognized by a district. So we participated in that. It was a little square peg round hole given the audience it working? And, and the yeah. other. I mean, we made it, you know, we made it fit. <laughs> um, but it, it was, you know, I mean, the audience just wasn't really emerging fundraisers and, mm -hmm. and the folks that we typically uh, educate through our through our programs. Uh, so we were like, you know, the Fundraising Academy needs something uh, and something of their own, for lack of, of a better term. So that kind of marinated. And then about a year ago, as we were entering the fiscal year, uh, which for us starts July 1st, uh, and we're putting together our business plans and our KPIs, all these things people love to hear, right? <laughs> business plans, yeah. KPIs. All... My oh. ears. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's my presentation later is all about KPIs. So keep nerding out. Though. So anyway, so we're putting together all of this for our, for our you know, FY23. Uh, and we were like, okay, this will be the year. Let's Let's put it on paper that this will be the year that the Fundraising Academy hosts its own conference. Uh, and so we're hosting, of course, in, in the backyard of National University right here in San Diego. Uh, folks from all over you know, Southern California and other places around the country are, are joining us today. Uh, and it's just been a really exciting journey. Uh, for anyone that's done this before, you know, th there's a lot of anxiety, of, of course, yeah. and, yeah. you know, you want to make sure, because the last thing you want to do is put something out there that isn't relevant and valuable, right? right? 
people's time is so important. And you're asking them, you know, in, in the case of this conference, that there's a, a tuition, so to speak, to right. attend, right? right. Uh, so you want to make sure whatever you're creating is super meaningful yeah. uh, for the folks attending. But it was so much fun coming up with the name and the pillars. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But just, you know, coming up with the name and the pillars and working with NU Marketing to create the logos and, and you know, coming up with the leadership, you know, the training tracks and all of that. So uh, it's, it's a full-on one-day conference with a keynote and, yeah. you know, in different tracks uh, for folks to engage in. And uh, yeah, 150 plus. Yeah, so. it's very inspiring. And Tony, you knocked it out of the park because really, you know, the conference is about these three taglines, relationships, knowledge, and impact. And as you were speaking about the room, you know, filling up here, it's like an atrium filling up this morning. Uh, the energy of people is just so magnetic, mm -hmm. right? And as you said, people you've worked with for three years and haven't seen in person, we've had the good fortune we met last year. In right, person. We did. Um, but it's really just, it's intoxicating because people are so excited to be here to build and deepen these relationships that exist within these boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Like just to have that opportunity. So a day packed, packed full. There's, um, I believe there's a leadership track and there's a general track. Mm -hmm. There's a general fundraising track and an executive leadership track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talk to us about that because I think this is really interesting. Um, how and why did you decide to do that? Uh, have take that approach with an in-person event. Right. So, well, you know, we, we all know fundraising is a team sport. Mm -hmm. And the more that our entire team understands fundraising and contrib can contribute to those efforts, the better off all of our organizations are, are going to be. So we were really intentional about creating something that could be meaningful for board members, for folks that just care about nonprofits, for volunteers, mm -hmm. uh, but also, you know, for CEOs and executive directors that, that might want just, you know, some other topic, uh, you know, other than just fundraising strategies and, and tactics. Uh, so that like, was like boring KPIs, like boring KPIs. Uh, but I'm, I'm serving on a panel later on that I'm super excited about. It's, it's uh, you know, leading with authenticity Ooh. and really about being who you are as a leader and, and empowering others to model that kind of behavior. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited about the day. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm seeing that coming up more and more. And I feel like during COVID, Tony, I feel like so many of us are just eager to be fully who we are mm -hmm. and embrace our own authenticity. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I can't wait for that panel discussion. Yeah. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that too. Yeah. Uh, what else? So we talked about the three pillars, yeah. the entire fundraising Academy team is here. All of our okay. trainers, even Muhi, even Muhi, oh, oh, we oh, have a Muhi site. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> a Muhi sighting. Yes. A movie that's that's impressive. In, in the States. Watch out. <laughs> so that's really impressive given that he's been in South America, Central America, Asia. He's, he, and he's in America. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And he's right here in the flesh. So that's cool. It, it's not a glitch on your computer. It's just, not. It's just not. in case you were. How worried. tall is he? That's what I want to know. Uh, he's he's taller than Tony. Okay. <laughs> Most people are. <laughs> Most people are. LaShonda's La here too. LaShonda's here. LaShonda and Mookie will be joining tomorrow. Uh, LaShonda's <laughs> going to make a sighting as well. Maybe not quite as exciting as Mookie's. Welcome everyone. How you doing? Good, good. LaShonda, this is great. Now, are you going to be presenting here at Cultivate today? Yes, I will. My session's at two o'clock. I will be co-presenting with Adriana. We're very excited. We'll talk about building donor trust and loyalty. Yeah. Wonderful. So one of the many interesting uh, topics that you are offering here at Cultivate. Awesome. Well, LaShonda, you're one of our favorites. We always love having you on. And so this will be really fun. I wish that um, I could be in, in your in your. Uh, in your session today because I, I really I give I will hone you in I will channel you in spiritually there you go yes yeah I'm definitely feeling all of your positive energy <laughs> yeah it's it's going to be fabulous and LaShonda will actually be moderating my panel for me so yes. 
really excited for that. And then she and Muhi again, will be back on tomorrow as we do our ask and answer live. So excited for that. Very excited. She's going to rock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be really good. You know, tomorrow's going to be a little different because we're going to be asking and answering questions with uh, Muhi and, and LaShonda more about their journey into fundraising and how they got started and what they've oh, done. Good, and, right. And so it, this is something we haven't really ever done. And so I'm very excited about kind of turning the table a little bit and learning more about what they have done to become so successful um, for good and for bad. And so I think it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. So thank you so much. Definitely will keep the audience on their toes. (laughs) I have no doubt. So tons of cliffhangers. So definitely tune in again. Yeah, I love it. You're tired. Right. If we ever need another (laughs) co-host. I'm just saying. Right. I love being your guest. (laughs) It's an honor. It's going to be such an honor. It's It's really cool. You know, um, while we have the three of you together, Um, In talking about these pillars and moving, you know, our sector forward and building professionalism and a return to um, events, using the word cultivate is such an inspiring word. And maybe, Tony, maybe you're the one to answer this, but how did you choose that word? Well, I... Do you, I'm trying to recall, did you know the exact story how we got there? So we had many brainstorming sessions. Our team is truly a think tank in itself. Mm -hmm. And we talked about words that were action driven, that were relative to fundraising, that were applicable in all facets of fundraising. And then the heart of fundraising is through the cultivation of relationships. Mm -hmm. Which you see so perfectly on the logo, right? Like it's just, it's so... Mm -hmm thoroughly thought out. I really, I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. When I think of the cost selling cycle and how, you know, it's, we're always moving through these conversations and these engagements with our donors, with our prospects, um, with our communities. It's, it's an interesting word because cultivation is not a one point thing. It, you know, right. if you look at it as you're always navigating that and working with that, that mindset, it kind of changes things. Well, and I too, it's talking to a gardener, Julia, who <laughs> that's an amazing garden, that's right? It really is about cultivating your crops, cultivating your mm-hmm. constituency, cultivating your community. Um, and you're right. It's not a one and done, right? You can't just plant the seed and then automatically expect that big foam check and Ed <laughs> McMahon to show up, right? Like that's, that's going to happen. happen. No, I've never <laughs> had that happen in my never career. Happened. Yeah, you laugh, if, right? If, well, like, if Ed McMahon showed up, it would really be a miracle. So. It would be. <laughs> that's a whole nother episode. Right? <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Yeah, to so, both of the points, it's multifaceted. And that was one of the reasons why that was the lead word, because we're talking about knowledge. The more we know about our donors, the more we know about the philanthropic space, yeah. the better and more um, efficient we become. When we're talking about the relationships, obviously the heart. And most importantly, we all want to be impactful. No one uh, wants to, to waste their time. They want to be able to make significant increases and in impact on their organization. For sure. Yeah, yeah I love that. Well, you guys are just so always, always so inspiring, and I'm just thrilled that we could be with you today, um, broadcasting live in San Diego at the Cultivate Conference with our friends at Fundraising Academy at National University. Um, Jarrett, you are going to be speaking later on today. Talk briefly about that before you bring somebody else in. No, <laughs> let, let me think about that. So that um, I forget the name of the of it, but it is. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Measuring your fundraising team's success, key metrics, and insights. So I am talking and nerding out about KPIs, <laughs> right? Like, what are the things that you as a leader, and it is the executive uh, leadership track. So what is it that we should be tracking Good. to determine our measurements of success mm-hmm. for our nonprofit development teams, right? Like, what is that? And so I'm going to give 
um, some some key KPIs, right? Here's here's a slew of them, um, and I'm going to recommend like don't pick all of them. Oh my goodness! Don't can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine that dashboard? So don't pick all of them, but find find a few, be consistent, um, and really just narrow it down. So the conversation itself is 45 minutes, 30 minutes presentation, 15 Q and A. Lashana is going to keep me on my toes and and keep me on my timing. Um, yeah, so really just, you know, talk about that because I've seen it and I'm curious if the two of you have, where's too many development departments do not have metrics of success. That's true. They just say, go raise the money. This is what we need to raise. Yeah. But there's no measurement of, mm -hmm. we want you to bring in X amount through this appeal or, right. or through, you know, moves management. Mm -hmm. We don't see moves management in there. So I want to talk about that. And, and it actually has the cost selling model model integrated and spoiler alert also customized with a bloomerang platform excellent <laughs> love it right no i love it yeah because you can do that absolutely it's yeah. really multifaceted i'm excited yeah definitely it's Thanks. gonna be a great session thank you <laughs> well, thank you for joining us this has been great jared do you have some other folks i see you like looking off camera Are you well, well, there's a lot happening right now yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a lot happening. Uh, we don't have the guests we thought we would, um, okay. and that's okay. So, uh, yeah, there's, oh yeah, yeah there he is. We we're, were looking everyone as a silhouette it because of the silhouette. light coming Thank in from you. the door. So we're it like, we see a lot of silhouettes moving to the, to the left here. Yeah. But the one thing I did want to mention though, as we were talking about the sessions, we were very intentional about carving out time for Q&A. Mm -hmm. And we've already, we've already received feedback from our attendees about how grateful they are that we have that 15 minute block because they were just saying that that's, that's when they really get the deep understanding, right? Yes. Is in the opportunity for them to ask a question that is, you know, super relevant to the work that they do, but clearly relevant to everybody in the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah so we're really excited to offer those Q and A's. Definitely. And that'll definitely allow the opportunity to apply because it's all about application. Right. The cost selling cycle is very applicable to mm -hmm. all the facets of nonprofit. And we want to ensure that they cultivate relationships, knowledge, and impact. <laughs> I love it. Good I'm job, Lashonda. So You're a rock star. Now that's really, really good. I think that it's a, uh, an interesting thing too, because I mean, we've all been to conferences, we're sitting in the ballroom space or whatever, and then something clicks and you don't often have that opportunity to ask. Mm -hmm. And so good for you for, you know, allowing that opportunity because yeah. that's, that's the magic, I think. Well, and I knew too, all too often you go to a conference and you leave with a long to-do list, right? Like a really yes. long to-do list and it's a little overwhelming at times. And so when there's opportunity to engage and to really say, is this important? Like, is this something that we need to take and implement immediately? Or is this something that we can implement, you know, futuristically? And what is, what does that timeline look like? Uh-huh. Exactly. Yes. I think that's really, really smart. Well, how exciting. I love that you did these two tracks. It's going to be very interesting to find out what your attendees are saying and how, you know, they, they've they appreciated that knowledge or, or that um, maybe that def defined attention to what it is that they're on their, their track. Because right. um, I, I, I don't think of conferences as doing that, you know. And so good job for you for really uh, doing something unique and different. Uh, because all all things are new since we haven't been doing this for several years. So and, and no, and we always look forward to the user and guest ex, you know experience feedback. So we'll certainly have you know surveys going out and, right. and touching base with folks throughout the day uh, to make sure that you know their expectations were met. Well, and keep in mind this is the inaugural. It is the inaugural. So there will be another one, right? Yeah. Like this is just the first of many. Uh, so really looking forward to that. And I've got to say, like, you know, when it comes to planning an event and you're mentioning this, Julia, you know, we're, we're back together, we're gathering, we are in person, those little in-person touches mm. mean so much down to where to park, where's the coffee, you know, and, and <laughs> we laugh, but it's really those little details that put on the entire experience. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something that I personally have kind of forgotten over the last couple of years because everything's been virtual. So how do you go back to that muscle memory mm -hmm. of having an in-person event? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to remind yourself of, of the experiences that you've had, right? And, and we literally as a team went outside the building and walked in yes. and, and like literally did the guest experience. So when okay. you're walking in, 
what's going to happen at registration. That, so yeah. we had, so we, we were, again, really trying to anticipate, uh, you know, all of the needs and, and experiences yeah. uh, that our guests today would have. And those are elements are essential to cultivation because <laughs> the yeah. donor, the prospect, our yeah. attendees, their experience will set the tone for what their impression is of us. And we're talking about cost selling cycles. We talk about, you know, first impressions and meetings. So we're making sure that this event is the event that will not only lead a wonderful foundation, but it'll definitely lead to all types of extraordinary impact by the end of the day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, mic drop. Uh -huh. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, LaShonda has spoken. <laughs> LaShonda, you're- And Julie is getting, Jared's getting ready to speak. I know. Yeah. I know. I was checking my time. So um, the other, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. The, the other thing that uh, we are very grateful for was the response for our call for sessions. Uh, so we, we had a good amount of folks oh, submit know. applications to speak and present today. So- uh, so keep an eye out for that, you know, for 2024 and those speaking right. opportunities yes. too. Thanks, thanks, be coming out soon. Yeah, so just you know, again, lots that, to sell. You know, that's great. And I appreciate that you uh, brought that that forward. So um, you have speakers from all over coming in and they uh, went online or if I'm not mistaken, yep. filled out an, a, a form and then kind of gave a rundown as to what they they thought they could share. And then mm -hmm. from there, how many, about how many speakers are, do you have, do you have today? Oh, today. We're looking at eight. eight. I was going to say eight, but then I thought I would be wrong. <laughs> no, eight. You're right. Yeah. Right. And we have our keynote. So it's an odd number, but we're very excited today. And again, representing a variety of areas of nonprofit yeah. um, across the globe. We're very, very excited. You should be. Thank now. You. Thank you. I know I have to go yeah. and get ready thank for the next you. session. Thank you. <laughs> Thank so you. good to see you. Thank you right. both for being yes. here. Absolutely. Wonderful. And I'll so. see you here shortly. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, there's a lot happening. Oh, there's another yeah. movie sighting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully I can I can hold him in place tomorrow. I have to lock his feet down. Um, we, don't, we don't know if he's real. I know, I know. So there's there's a lot happening. The atrium is filling up. The keynote just finished. So you might hear some of the background noises of, of everyone coming into a breakout session before they go into their next uh, session. And again, there's two sessions um, at each at each hour um, with a lot of opportunity to engage. And so that's really exciting. I'm so grateful to be here, Julia, and to know, bring the show here live. And I've had so many people say, you look familiar. How do I know you? And I say, oh, I'm the co-host of the nonprofit show. And then that's how I know you. So, and I do have my nerd glasses, you know, uh, my glasses, my nerd candies, my stickers. So I have swag. Good. I love it. Well, if you are out and about in San Diego and you get a chance to meet the nonprofit nerd, uh, make sure that you do so at Cultivate uh, today. This is really a, a, a neat thing to see, Jarrett, and I'm thrilled that you're there. So appreciative that you have um, also engaged in sharing your knowledge and teaching a track today or teaching a session. I think that's really admirable. And it's, you know, I can just see that this is going to be something that we're gearing back up with. Um, you know, other uh, folks around the country, you know, thought leaders are starting to get out and do things. And so um, this is a, a really wonderful thing. We've we've missed these learning and um, cultivation, dare I say, opportunities. So it's really been fun. Yeah, it's a great time to be back together. It really is. Well, hey, everybody, I want to say thank you so much uh, for letting us come in and uh, share this this time we don't get to do too many remote broadcasts and so it's really been fun again i'm julia patrick ceo of the american nonprofit academy been joined today by the nonprofit nerd herself you can tell by the glasses um she has been joining us today in san diego california for the fundraising academy cultivate conference which is going to be moving forward um, next year and so as she was talking um, earlier with our friends, Tony Bell and LaShonda Williams, watch out for that because if you're somebody who you think might like to share your knowledge or, or make a presentation, they'll be opening that up again shortly. 
again, live broadcast from uh, National University's uh, San Diego campus. It's been a lot of fun. And we would not be there without the generosity and support of our sponsors. They include Bloomerang, American Nonprofit Academy, your part-time controller, nonprofit thought leader, of course, Fundraising Academy at National University, Staffing Boutique, Nonprofit Nerd, and Nonprofit Tech Talk. Again, an amazing opportunity. Thank you, Jarrett, for taking the show on the road. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, as we end every episode, whether we're in our studios or we're live at an actual event, we like to end with our mantra. And it goes like this, stay well so you can do well. <laughs>